Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another fun video where I recreate a photo from Pinterest to spice up my Instagram feed. So let's get started. Here is my inspo photo. I found this while I was looking for photos to do uh, with my white backdrop and I thought this was really pretty with all the shadows and all the light and everything and the simple glass in the photo. I really liked it. I thought it was really pretty and simple. And just like with the other photo where, that I recreated from Pinterest, I really could see a lot that I could do with this to make it my own and not just a carbon copy from the internet. So to start off, I need to find some flowers. And I find a good little bunch of them uh, around my apartment complex. It's been really hot and dry lately. So a lot of these flowers are kind of fried. So it's kind of hard to find a good little bunch of them that don't look half dead. Next, I need to set up my white backdrop. I have a whole video on this backdrop setup. If you're interested, I have it linked up above. But it's just a sheet that I bought from Goodwill and some tripods and stuff. And it doesn't take that long to set up. It is a little windy, so this is a little perilous. <laughs> I have my props all ready. I have this glass that I got from Goodwill, filled some water. It's the closest glass shape I could find to match the one in the photo. So the one in the photo had a little more de de uh, had a little more detail in it, like it had ridges and patterns and stuff in it. I didn't want to do that because if I wanted it to be a little more simple of a photo, but on top of that, I wanted it to be a glass that I could use for a lot of other things. And so I wanted the one that was a little more simple because how I'm going to add a little more visual interest in my photo is I'm going to have uh, colorful flowers instead of white ones because A, I think it'll be more visually interesting and but also B, it's all I had. Well, all that I had for free anyway. I guess I could have gone and bought flowers, but that just seems silly when there's some right there. So now I need to carefully pick a few of the flowers off the stems and put them in the glass. This is a little harder than I was expecting because they want to they wanna turn upside down and float around like on their sides and sink to the bottom almost. So I had to delicately put them in the glass. So here I am setting her thing up. Very dumbly, not putting down a weight on the sheet when it's really windy outside and I have essentially a giant sail set up, uh, which is a lesson I will learn in just a few minutes. Here it is, the wind starting to pick up. I'm about to learn my lesson. There it goes. Yep, should have put a weight down. I don't know how I didn't think that through. By the time I'm shooting this, I've already had this thing falling on me like maybe two or three times. So I don't understand why I did not think of it. I guess because the wind had died down, so I thought maybe I was fine. So I learned my lesson. And so I set the uh, backdrop as low as they will go and I have one of the weighted socks on the backdrop to keep it down even more. So there is, just, there is no chance this is getting away from me this time. Even with it set down to the lowest that it will go, the wind still picked it up a good bit to the point where I got a little concerned that even with a weighted sock wasn't gonna be enough. So now time to get to actually taking the photos. I had to get some more flowers again. So here I am delicately putting flowers in once again. And I'm gonna put some around the base of the glass as well. Just because I feel like it will draw the eye uh, into the photo a little more than just having them on the top. Because when you're making compositions, you kinda wanna have things like an S shape keep the viewer's eye in the photo. And doing battle with the wind again. I'm trying to get some video with my phone so I can make TikToks because I am a slave to that content. The wind is driving me nuts. Like even with the lowest and I have the glass set pretty far forward from the um, backdrop just to try 
and keep it from being a problem, but the wind was not my friend today. So I'm trying to get as many shots as I can when the sun is shining directly on it because it really does set the tone and the look that I'm looking for because you can just see this here. It looks so much more like the photo with how the light is playing on the folds. It looks so nice. So my other idea to make this photo kind of my own was to just completely change up the backdrop. Since there's uh, flowers in the glass, I thought maybe it would make sense like in the grass or like a little clover patch that was near my apartment. So I didn't want to get down on my hands and knees in the dirt with my camera, so I'm taking the photos with my phone instead. And I'm making sure to have it on live mode. That way, if like the light changes subtly, I can pick frame that I like the best. Because what live mode does is it takes like a very short video and you can pick one of the little frames from that video as your photo. And the light kept changing so quickly uh, that, that day that I want to be able to pick the lighting that I thought looked the best. Because lighting was very crucial to this photo turning out. Because once again, I wanted that bright light So here's how my first photo came out, the one with the glass on the sheet. I love this photo. I think it looks so beautiful and elegant, like maybe even, like, I don't know. I have a hard time thinking anything I do is elegant, but I think it's so pretty. I love like the little bit where you can see like the light that's shining through the glass and the water and then onto the sheet. I just, I think that's so beautiful. And I'm really glad that I was able to make this photo of my own a little bit and change it up by adding the colorful flowers and adding some extra flowers at the bottom as well. The point of recreating these photos is not to make a carbon copy of something else that someone's already done, but it's to try and take something that's more inspiration and make something beautiful all on your own. And I feel like that's really what I did here. So here's the second photo with the inspo photo. I really like this one, though the first one is still my absolute favorite. I like how the green of the background of the grass and everything kind of complements the color of the pink of the flowers nicely. However, I do think this photo would have benefited from white flowers instead of pink ones, just because that's a whole lot of color going on. Maybe to tone it down a little bit, I don't know. I feel like if it had white flowers, it would have kept with the overall atmosphere or tone that I'm trying to create with this photo. Anyway, the first one is still my favorite, though I do like this second one. Tell me in the comments which one is your favorite. And if you like this video, please like and comment. If you want to see more like it, we set the subscribe button. And don't forget to check out my Etsy, which is linked down below. And so I'll see you next time. Bye!